in the kingdom of Dayan, where the mountains are uh, t treacherous. Princess Olynthia's newly formed Crimean army, with Ike as its commander, marches to Torgarin and claims its first victory. Torgarin is a vast wall guarding Dayan's border. Manned by battalions of well-trained soldiers, it was long thought impenetrable. Yet the strength of the Crimean army under General Ike's leadership far outstrips Dayan's expectations, and Torgarin falls. Learning of Gallia's increasing interest in the war, Ike wastes no time ordering his troops further into the heart of Dayan. The gears of history, which had come to a halt with the fall of Crimea, slowly creep to life once more. Go Ike, you penetrated the impenetrable. Chapter 19 Entropy <laughs> I, uh, I looked into some stuff on Serena's Forest, and I like to apologize for my Shinon comments. You get sh it said that you get him in 19, and that is true. You don't get to play as him, though, until chapter 19. Nezala, King Nezala of Kilvas, I would speak with you now. Oh, if it isn't General Petrine, what brings you up to these frosty mountain peaks? I have no time for pleasantries. Is it true? Has Crimea's army breached Targaryen? Though I am loath to report it, this appears to be the case. Bah! Kaechi, you worthless dog! Being defeated by that girl's motley band just proves how useless he was. Surely it's not the general's fault alone. He was told that Crimea's army was weak and that Torgarin was impregnable. And yet, he was impregnated. I'd say that our, someone severely underestimated our enemy, wouldn't you? What was that? Do you dare to insult Day and Crow? Men have forfeited their lives for less. Insult Day and never. Come now, General Petrina, merely stating the facts. Regardless of the previous battle's outcome, Crimea's army will be stopped here. I will be taking the field myself. Hmm. Sounds like you've set the stage for a grand performance. General Petrine, Kilvis will always stand at Dane's side. As long as you receive our payment, of course. <laughs> if tits is all it takes, then may our friendship never end. See to it that your performance warrants such consideration. Homaza, come here. Yes? Work with King Kilvas and put a stop to Crimea's army. No screw-ups, or else. Leave it to me, General. I will not suffer another failure, King Kavos. You must finish them and do so quickly. Are we clear? Arr, I'm sick to death of being made a fool by that Crimean floozy and her pathetic band of sellswords. The remaining portion of my fee? Don't worry, we have it ready. You'll get paid when the job is done. As long as we're clear on that point, everything's settled. Well, then I'm off. Ah, I remember this one. Dog's breath. Even by half-breed standards, those crows are complete scum. Give that one even the smallest opening and he'll steal the eyes from your skull. What an untrustworthy wretch. Aren't ravens... Are they ravens or are they crows? One of those two. Ooh. I have too many allies and Ike is my new favorite. Um, so there's nothing really in the base, so we'll see you once I've set up everybody. I got me some new classed up motherfuckers! It'll make this mission so much easier. Easier for me. Look at him slowly go. I'm gonna get in a place eventually. <laughs> so, General, there look to be a lot of enemy soldiers ahead. Mostly Dan, but there are some crows from Kilvas as well. More than our last fight? Yeah, there's a lot, but the most troubling thing is that King Kilvas is with them. The Crow King himself is cooperating with Dong? Yep, and compared to the other crows, the king is in a class by himself. Obviously, he's no match for our king, but anyway, you should move carefully. An entire unit under the command of King Kilvis, I think that bodes ill for us. The outcome of the battle hinges on how we deal with them. Mm. Kilvas soldiers, hmm? His fellow bird tribe lagoos, what can you tell us about them? Please don't lump us together with those carrion birds. We're not partial to the crows. Hmm. As you know, we are outmanned by the Dong troops. Is there any way to get the ravens to withdraw the help a tremendous help Lee much? You need to think before you start speaking. I don't think that my speaking to him is going to make a difference, though. If you like, we will try, but don't expect anything to come of it. No matter the circumstances, I will never again speak to a crow. 
No matter what we decide, sitting here like this is giving Amy more time to prepare. You're right! Come on, let's get moving! Fuck yeah, guys. Um... Pretty much like this setup. Um... I got Braum and Mist up. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Braum out to bring in Boyd. Should bring some of these other guys back. But I'm so close to leveling up everyone else that I really don't want to do that. Oh well. I think it'd be a good idea to level up some of these guys. I think after these couple of missions, I think they'll start giving me more units. Um, and as far as I remember, it's a good idea to have Raisin on this map. Because where's King Killboss? So I think we have to kill Hamasa, but I think if we tell... Yeah, so he's the boss. If we tell, if Raisin speaks to Nezala, the crows disappear. Which is a good thing. Uh, these guys are dicks. That guy's a dick. And there's another dick somewhere right there. So be super careful, especially with your flyers. You're going to need your flyers. Oh, boy. Give me a trip and a half. So this is awesome. Miss can now finally attack, so she will be actually a part of our team this time. Keep raising in the back, of course. I think this is pretty good. Let's bring her. Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. I feel a lot better about this. Let's save this and then we'll go kick some ass. Oh god. Sir, the Crimean army has, has arrived. I hope they're prepared to pass into oblivion, for this will be their final resting place. Hmm, thinking undutably. Crimean stragglers joined with an army unknown from Bagnion. Hmm, even heard they have a betrayer in their midst, and yet they still march on. What an odd group, but as long as Kilvaz stands at the side of day and they have no future, I suppose they're just unlucky. It appears the enemy has spotted us. Well, a group this large is hard to miss. How will you proceed? No tricks, nothing fancy. We'll hit them from the front, fast and hard. And then maybe a little bit more fast and hard. I'm sure you've already aware of this, but if you don't do something about kill boss, you're at a disadvantage. Yes, I've heard about the ravens. Hmm, it even so, it's not as if we can turn tail and run away. Now that I think on it, Kiln Kovals and Prince Raisin used to be close friends. Did you ask him to speak to the king? He was most emphatic in his refusal. It seems that Nezala was responsible for Raisin's capture at the hands of Duke Tannis. I can't really blame him. And the Hawks, they too are, are of the bird tribes. Surely some connection can be found there. They weren't very excited about the suggestion. You could command them to do it. There's an antagonism between the tribes that we don't understand. I'd rather not force the issue. Trying to coerce them into it would be... Mm, unfair. I will let them do as they please. That is so very like you. Ever giving orders that are unpopular is often necessary when one is in command, and... Maybe so, but I can only do things the best I know how. My own way. Come, it's time to go! In that case, if uh, if he's unsure, I'm kind of unsure because I don't know if he's supposed to speak with Olki and then Raisin, or Janaf and then Raisin, or just Raisin. But just in case, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna make sure that Rolf is front and center. God damn it! So, as much as it sucks, I can't really bring my flyers into the death zone at all because they'll just get bombarded by those fucking pieces of shit god I hate I hate long-range enemies like this 
Because it, it puts me at a disadvantage. Oh, shit. I should have had him come up here. There's probably still time. Um... I gotta, I gotta think extra hard because a lot of these characters are really close to leveling up, and I need them to level up. I need them to class up for the coming missions. And I think at this point, besides the, besides the units that have already classed up, it would be a really good idea to get everyone here as fast as we can. Now, is there a strong... Ah, shit. I should have. Should have brought him closer. I didn't. Shame on me. Damn it. What is wrong with me? I should have. I should have. I should have put him closer so I could have moved him over to get those birdies off to the side. I won't scope out the map like I should. Um... Fuck. Oh, I forgot that he's got a bow now, too. This will actually prove really beneficial for me in the end. Well, let's see what they all choose. Oh, I hope I make the right decisions. In the long run. Holy shit. Go, Nephany! Nephany, you amazing country country bumpkin girl. You country beauty. How much damage do these do? Oh, it's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, see, they're gonna come to us. How very how very how very nice of them. Shit. Gotta make sure I kill them before they turn into ravens. I always forget that there's that... Okay, so let's see. Right there and right there. As much as having Jill, um, their long-range capabilities, I think... Yeah, I think Marcia. Oh, -ho! Marcia is the better choice in the long run. She's a lot stronger. Just something that I really didn't expect. Yeah, look at this. That's actually perfect. I can go in and strike and fuck you, bird. I think in the second game, um, these guys actually have an attack. They don't do a whole lot. It's like they just do like one puny punch and then they're gone. But, uh... And it's a lot better than what they're doing currently right now, which is absolutely fucking nothing! Um... Hmm... Let's see... Killer axes scare me, for obvious reasons. But let's get, yeah, it's good to have somebody with a high amount of health to take the damage. And then, whatever. Doesn't matter if they're all on the outskirts. At this point, I want them to come to me. Take an extra few turns to have them come to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Mist has... Missed my healer. I should have had her, <laughs> should have had her heal Nephany. Damn, even with the killer axe. Ooh. You have a killer axe. There's no way you would have been able to kill me with a crit, and yet I killed you with a motherfucking crit. How's that for ironic? Out with the old, in with the new. Oh, no you don't. 
Don't you fucking dare. I need some class up motherfuckers, and if you're gonna run away like a little scared bitch, I'm just gonna come chase after you. Marvelous. Marvelous level 20. One thing I really like about this game is I definitely take a different route as far as what characters I use every single time I play. I mean, the core basics are the exact same, but I know that I'll switch out, like, Jill and Marcia sometimes for one of the other characters, one of, like, the... one of the other birds, or one of the lagoos, or I'll put Stefan in there. Stefan's really good. I just, I'm so focused on getting z and Mia up that I just don't really care. Okay. Hmm... Let's keep the heels up for now. And, uh... Ooh, I have an idea. Switch spots. Oh, don't rescue. Don't rescue. That'll... That... Bad times. Bad times had for all if you rescue. And... Shit. I gotta set this up perfectly. Well, maybe not perfectly, but... At least in a way that I'm not scared to... Scared for half my units. This is not one of the harder levels. I know that one of, the, one of my least favorite levels, and it's going to be a while till we're there, but it's when we're crossing, when we finish the day in part and then cross into Crimea. Because um, there's a bridge that you're on and unfortunately it crumbles as you walk across it so it sometimes I'll just get a character trapped and if I don't do the right character yeah bad things happen that's all I can say oof maybe I shouldn't have Kieran although he needs to be with his buddy Oscar Um, I wanted to use, use that. I don't want you to use that up right now. It'd be a bad thing. Okay, that should do it. Oh, great. More birds. When they become birds, they become assholes. Cool. That's actually what I hope. As long as I get one miss, and then I can get a good hit in, then I can just go in with my weaker characters and wreck the shit out of them. Although that's not good. Why? Why my fragile little sage? He never did anything to hurt nobody! <laughs> Except for this right now! Mwahaha! <laughs> You don't do as much damage as you used to. You used to be epic. Oh. Well, I guess that's an extra turn. <laughs> um, I was thinking of, of something before I started this session. Um, I... The one thing I'm having a really hard time with as far as Fire Emblem Fates... Um, is that I'm not getting as much... Shit, that sucks. The only thing that makes me mad about Fire Emblem Fates is, um, in Fire Emblem Awakening, it was really, really easy to get every single character paired off with a spouse. Um, this game kind of does it a little bit. It's not the best, but it's better than some, of course. Damn, boy. Like, I'm totally fine with you being the wrecker of shit, but god damn, man. You can calm the fuck down. 
As I was saying, like... <laughs> yeah, I'm still playing through Fire Emblem Fates. I, there's so many fucking things going on in my life right now that I'm still going through it. The one thing I don't like is it's really hard to pair off all your units, and and with Fire Emblem Awakening, it was really easy. You can get all the children without even having to try. But Fates, I feel like you have to like really, really figure out how the game works um, as far as like who you can pair off with whom. And that's the problem is is a lot of. I was, I, I was thinking of, like, how I don't use Titania a whole lot, and how in um, Awakening I never used Frederick because he was the more powerful unit. And you don't use these characters at all, really, because there's no point. They don't... They don't level up as fast. They don't... I mean, they, their stat girls aren't as good as other characters. Um... But the thing is, is at least in this and in Awakening, like those two characters, Titania and Frederick, can still be paired up with certain units. I don't think Titania marries anybody in the end, but you can still like use support conversations. In in Fates, the big the big guy that you get, um, well, I know that he dies in a couple of the campaigns, but you can get him. You can recruit him back. In a couple of them, but unfortunately, he doesn't really. Uh, you can't pair him up with anybody but the avatar, and that's how a lot of characters are. Like it was like that for Awakening, but it was for characters that really don't have a lot of children. And if you, and unfortunately, they, I don't know, they're not as. How do I put this? I don't think that like their their personality is as good as it could be. So I'm not interested in leveling them up. Or even doing support conversations with anybody. And that unfortunately leaves a gap where let's see. It's a good it's just the Iron Lance. Let's try. Let's see if we can get him. Come on. That's pretty good. I wish you would have done that the first time, but that's pretty good. What was I saying? Yeah, the... I don't know. They're just... They're not as... I just wish you had more opportunities to pair up characters. Instead, I'm kind of left with... You know, one character who can't ever get married unless I pair up... Unless I pair up, of course, my avatar with one of the ones who can only pair up with my avatar. But that's no fun, because just, they're just not interesting. I'm not going to use them. So in like two of the three campaigns, I, there's one character that just doesn't have a child, and that kind of sucks. I want, I want all of them to have one. It's just that whole, like, I, I just want... I just want all the characters. And I'm kind of pissed that... They didn't think it through enough. Well, who knows? Maybe they did think it through. That's entirely possible that they really did think it through and then they really wanted you to not have, you know, one of the characters or something. What do I know? Sword guy. Ooh. Perfect. Kieran, would you be a doll? And sit here with your ox. I need you to f be my fucker of shit. Great, more ravens. I don't care as long as they don't bombard me at the last second. Oh, that was unexpected. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It really isn't. My characters are a lot more powerful than I thought they were. Let's see. Alright, I need... I'm probably gonna go in for the kill now. Boyd's close enough. Yes! Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 
Boy, do you magnificent bowcaster bastard. <laughs> that was awesome, a little alliteration. You beautiful bowcasting bastard. Just watch out for this asshole. Cool, I'm on range yet. I don't think he comes to you, like, immediately. I think he actually... Waits around. Shit. I'm surprised you didn't move towards me. Ugh, another raven. Well, why don't you just go to him then? That's probably why. Fantastic, okay. Fuck. I like the idea. Actually, that's fine. I'm totally okay with you only doing one hit in. <laughs> and it's Aether! Shit! Oh god, that's the worst. Oh man. Now everyone's too powerful. It's hard to level up evenly, but I guess as long as I switch off who kills. It doesn't really matter. Stay out of the range of King Kilvoss and his ravens of fuck you up. Actually, hold on. Interesting, okay. I gotta think. As long as I position these guys right. I wish I could get that raven. Maybe I can. No, I can't. I might just have to go for it. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Thank you. Good thing those guys are worth a lot of experience, too. That's the one thing. It's like, you kill the ravens. I mean, you could ward them away, but they're kind of, like, really good giving you experience. And that's what I want. Oh. I like that. But just in case. Okay, good. 